peptides can be converted to individual amino acids, first through the action of the endopeptidases, and then through the action of carboxypeptidase, which is secreted by the pancreas, and the aminopeptidase and dipeptidase enzymes, which are located on the brush border of the small intestinal cells. These amino acids can then be absorbed through either active transport, where an active transport pump uh, will pump these amino acids into the intestinal cells, or through secondary active transport, where these amino acids enter the intestinal cells in symport with sodium. The intestinal cells can also absorb dipeptides and tripeptides through an active transport symport pump, which brings in hydrogen ions along with the dipeptide or tripeptide. And these dipeptides and tripeptides can then be split within the intestinal cells. These free amino acids then diffuse into the blood and go through the hepatic portal vein to the liver. The liver may remove these from circulation, or if it does not, these amino acids then are transported throughout the body and can be absorbed by the cells of the body.